Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we've got some really significant news to discuss from the Oak Cliff Bible Fellowship in Texas. Dr. Tony Evans, who's been a beloved pastor there for nearly 50 years, has just announced his resignation due to a sin he committed several years ago. In a heartfelt statement shared on June 9, Pastor Evans explained why he's stepping down, saying he needs to repent and restore his relationship with God. He made it clear that he committed no crime, but admitted to not using righteous judgment. This announcement has sent waves through the church community, with reactions ranging from shock to deep support. Pastor Evans' family and church elders have shown incredible grace and understanding during this tough time. In today's video, we're going to dive deep into the details of Pastor Avon's resignation, the reactions from the congregation and the church elders, the implications for the future of Oak Cliff Bible Fellowship. We'll also talk about the broader themes of accountability and integrity in church leadership, as highlighted by the elders' statements. Stick around to get the full story and share your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think about Pastor Evans' decision? How do you think this will affect the church moving forward? Let's get the conversation started. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. I come up to the fourth year of the loss of Lois, my wife, of 49 and a half years. It is a tender time. There are reminders everywhere of her life and of her influence on, on me, my family, and this ministry. We are a um, very uh, close family and... Uh... Before we dive in, let me tell you a bit about Dr. Tony Evans. Who is Tony Evans? Tony Evans, full name Anthony Tyrone Tony Evans Sr., is a pretty well-known figure in the evangelical world. Born on September 10, 1949, he's an American pastor, speaker, author, and broadcaster. From 1976 to 2024, he was the senior pastor at Oak Cliff Bible Fellowship in Dallas, Texas, which grew to over 9,500 members. Tony got his start in radio when he was just 24. In 1973, while he was studying at Dallas Theological Seminary, a radio show producer from Houston reached out looking for good preaching content. One of Tony's professors recommended him, and that's how Tony began broadcasting. He spent years preaching into a microphone in a tiny studio on campus, speaking to an unseen audience in Houston. By 1981, there was so much demand for his sermons that Tony and his wife, Lois, founded The Urban Alternative. Lois used her business skills to expand the ministry, and in 1986, Tony's preaching at the National Religious Broadcasters Conference helped catapult his reach even further. Soon, radio stations across the country were airing his program. Now, his broadcasts reach millions each week on over 1,400 radio outlets in more than 130 countries. Tony's educational background is impressive too. He earned a BA from Carver College in 1972, a Therm in 1976, and a Th.D. from Dallas Theological Seminary in 1982. He founded Oak Cliff Bible Fellowship in 1976 with just 10 members in his home. Along with this, he established the Urban Alternative, aiming to restore hope and transform lives through the application of God's Word. Tony's influence extends beyond the church. He has served as chaplain for the Dallas Cowboys and the Dallas Mavericks and taught at Dallas Theological Seminary. Baylor University even named him one of the 12 most effective preachers in the English-speaking world. In 2017, he launched the Tony Evans Training Center, an online platform offering seminary-style courses. He's also a prolific writer, being the first African-American to publish a full Bible commentary and study the Bible. He has authored over 100 books, including Ownness Embraced, The Kingdom Agenda, and Kingdom Man. In 2024, 
Tony stepped down as senior pastor due to a past sin he admitted to. Despite this, his family and community continued to support him. Tony was married to Lois Irene Evans until her death in 2019, and they have four children and a growing number of grandchildren and great-grandchildren. His kids are quite accomplished too. Crystal Hurst is a worship leader and author. Priscilla Shira is a best-selling author and speaker. Anthony Jr. is a Christian musical artist. And Jonathan is a former NFL player and current chaplain for the Dallas Cowboys. Tony is a registered Republican and has been vocal about his views, including his criticism of President Obama in 2012 for supporting same-sex marriage. In 2023, Tony announced his engagement to Dr. Carla Crummy, and later that year, they got married. One of his congregation members, James Harris Jr., summed it up nicely. Him and his family, they truly believe what they preach and they act on it. So this is just another showing of faith in God and forgiveness and healing and grace. Um, they truly believe what they preach and they, and they, um, they act on it. And so this is just another showing of, of faith in God and um, forgiveness and healing and grace. I've got some surprising and kind of heavy news to share about Pastor Tony Evans from the Big Texas Megachurch, Oak Cliff Bible Fellowship. You know, he's been leading that church for nearly 50 years, but he just announced he's stepping down because of a sin he committed several years ago. So on June 9, the church put up a statement from Dr. Evans on their website where he explained he was stepping away from his duties as pastor. He said he fell short of his commitment to the Word of God and now needs to focus on repenting and restoring his relationship with God. He mentioned that when anyone falls short of the biblical standard, repentance and restoration are necessary. And he's applying this to himself, just like he has for others in the past. What's interesting though, is that he didn't give any details about what the sin was. He did clarify that he didn't commit a crime, and it was more about not using righteous judgment. Dr. Evans also shared that he's talked to his wife, his kids, and the church elders about this, and they've all been very supportive. They've wrapped him in what he called arms of grace, which sounds like they're standing by him during this tough time. The church elders also put out a statement. They said this decision came after a lot of prayer and multiple meetings with Dr. Evans. They emphasize that the church needs to be run according to scripture and that accountability is crucial, even for someone as prominent as Pastor Evans. Evans mentioned that by stepping away, he's entering a process of healing and restoration set up by the church elders. He's taking this time for spiritual recovery and healing, which he feels is really important. He also made a point to tell the congregation to keep the ministry going strong. He reminded them that they serve Jesus Christ, not just any one person. Evans wrapped up his note by thanking everyone for their love, prayers, support, and forgiveness, saying he loves them more than ever and trusts God to guide him through this difficult period. It's pretty intense, but it seems like he's doing what he feels is right and necessary. We'll see how things unfold. But for now, it's all about healing and maintaining the integrity of the church. Yeah, it's definitely a lot to process. The fact that Pastor Evans has been such a pillar of the community for so long makes this even more impactful. Imagine leading a congregation for almost five decades and then having to step down like this. It's clear he's taking his faith and responsibility very seriously, which is commendable. The church elders seem to be handling this with a lot of care too. They emphasize their role in maintaining the church's integrity and holding everyone, even the pastor, to the same high standards. It sounds like they've had some pretty intense discussions and a lot of prayers to come to this decision. Their commitment to transparency and accountability is really important in times like these. And for the congregation, this must be a mix of emotions. On one hand, they're losing their longtime pastor, someone many probably look up to and trust deeply. On the other hand, it's a powerful reminder of the values their church stands for, honesty, accountability, and spiritual integrity. 
During his time away, it's going to be crucial for the church to rally together and support one another. Pastor Evans' message about continuing the ministry with the same vibrancy is a call to action for everyone involved. It's a reminder that the church is more than just one person. It's a community built on faith and the teachings of Jesus. I'm sure Dr. Evans will be missed on Sundays, but his openness about needing this time for healing and restoration shows a lot of strength. It also sets an example that nobody is above the need for repentance and renewal, no matter their position. In his parting words, Evans expressed deep gratitude for the love and support from the congregation. He mentioned he's never loved them more, which is pretty touching. It's clear he feels a lot of pain, but also a lot of hope and trust in God to guide him through this period. We'll probably hear more in the coming weeks and months as this process unfolds. It's going to be a challenging time, but also one that could bring a lot of growth and renewal, both for Dr. Evans and for the church community. It's a big reminder of the importance of grace, forgiveness, and the continual journey of faith we're all on. In conclusion, the resignation of Pastor Tony Evans from Oak Cliff Bible Fellowship marks a significant moment for both him and the church community. His decision to step down due to a past sin underscores the importance of accountability and integrity in leadership. By openly addressing his shortcomings and seeking a path of repentance and restoration, Pastor Evans sets a powerful example of humility and faith. As the church navigates this transition, the congregation's support and continued dedication to their ministry will be crucial. This period of healing and reflection offers an opportunity for growth and a renewed commitment to the values that have long defined Oak Cliff Bible Fellowship. Let's keep Pastor Evans and the entire church community in our thoughts and prayers during this time. Let's keep Pastor Evans and the entire church community in our thoughts and prayers during this time. The journey ahead may be challenging, but it also holds the potential for profound spiritual renewal. Pastor Evans' openness about his need for healing and the congregation's response of grace and support highlight the strength of their faith and unity. The church elders have emphasized the importance of maintaining the vibrancy of the ministry, reminding everyone that their service is to the Lord, not just to any one individual. This focus on collective purpose and resilience will be key as they move forward. For nearly five decades, Pastor Evans has been a guiding light for many, and his contributions to the church and the broader faith community have been immense. As he steps back to focus on his personal spiritual recovery, it's an opportunity for others within the church to step up and continue his legacy of devotion, teaching, and service. In times of trial, the true strength of a community is often revealed. This period may bring about new leaders, fresh perspectives, and a deeper sense of fellowship among the members of Oak Cliff Bible Fellowship. As they uphold the principles of their faith, they will likely find new ways to grow and thrive together. Thank you for joining us in exploring this significant development. We encourage you to continue the conversation in the comments below. Share your thoughts, offer your support, and let's come together as a community to uplift one another in faith and love. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more updates and stories from the faith community. Stay blessed and take care.